Hello everybody. Uh, I will talk about uh, translating video recommendation. Uh, so uh, first uh, introduction, I'm I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> I've been using computer from the 1980s, starting from programmer and then turns into security consultant but uh, uh, actually I I, uh, I don't use uh, Fedora on, on my daily activity I use uh, Debian and Ubuntu but since uh, I like to translate everything then then at last I'm uh, involved into Fedora. So I'm currently GNOME Indonesian Translation Coordinator and I also active in translating LibreOffice and so many others because sometimes I I have uh, too much free time so I do translation on my free time. Okay and Let's talk about Indonesian, Indonesia. Indonesia is uh, situated around between Australia and China, right here, the red box. It's quite wide. I think between the east, easternmost and west, westmost, Indonesia is uh, roughly as long as United States. Uh, we have around <clears throat> 20, uh, uh, 270 million people in Indonesia right now and around uh, 210 million of them speak Indonesian and then we we have we have so many uh, local languages uh, the most uh, the, most, uh, the biggest ones uh, Japanese in this, this area, this area, and then Sundanese in this area. And Madura, Madura is right here. Minang is uh, around here. Bugis is around here. So many languages. And uh, so why, 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 why do, uh, why do we need to translate? Because yeah. Uh, uh, from this many people in Indonesia, although we, we in our curriculum we have English language, but but I think the it's not not sufficient to 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 you uh, to really uh, understand or use English in in everyday everyday task. So uh, we, we need to translate many software into Indonesian. One thing uh, uh, about Indonesian, I think the, the translation setup is uh, have a small problem. I, I think I need to discuss with someone uh, who has access to Weblet, because right now Indonesian uh, has been set up as has having one plural plural form, uh, but actually the, the correct one is we have two plural forms. I I don't know if if it's, it's possible uh, to to reconfig Weblet to to get the proper setting. Uh, okay. Uh, and then next slide. So the yeah, main question is why? Why translate? Uh, I have answered that because uh, we there are so many millions Indonesian user, computer user. 
and they have problem with English, so we need to translate. And then why translate Fedora? It's, it's because I myself, I don't use uh, Fedora, but, but sometimes uh, when, actually I, I, I start from, from GNOME. So in GNOME, we, we, uh, we, ha we have sections in, in the uh, localization of GNOME. One section uh, called free desktop. And the modules in there, uh refer to to outside uh, sites and several of them uh, lead to fedora translation sites so uh, because i i translate gnome uh, when i want to translate several modules i was uh, transferred into fedora translation website and then for for from from those modules, uh, I see. Oh, 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 there are so many, so many other uh, Fedora specific uh, modules, and and uh, which has not uh, adequately translated. And I have time, so I think, oh, uh, let's let's translate them too. So that's that's the story why. Involved into Fedora uh, document translation. Actually, uh, this one is is uh, what 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 would I talk about? Uh, what is the Fedora documentation? You can see in this uh, page, Docs Fedora project. This is for Fedora thirty four. There are three main uh, documents here, Fedora release notes, installation guide, and system administration guide. Each of them uh, are quite uh, big document. So it's already translated into so many languages. And uh, Indonesian translation is like this. It's uh, actually it's not not finished yet, but but uh, the uh, significant part of it is, is already done. So let's see. Um, actually, uh, uh, Shian can uh, ask me to to do this presentation. Uh, at, at the time, I, I thought, why should I do this kind of presentation? What's so special with 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 my uh, our our experience? And he he, he answered uh, with actually it's it's a uh, starting long time ago. If if you can see, in eighteen July. Uh, he posts about uh, that Indonesian translation uh, reached the top number for the uh, documentation. And it's still the top number for uh, in January. Actually, uh, I, I saw that that uh, those posting that but uh didn't didn't think it's it, 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 it's so special but that uh, then maybe uh it can it can help other people that oh oh is, if indonesian can do that why not the other other language the uh, everyone can can also do the uh, something like that too yeah? So if, if you see the history, I think uh, that number reached because uh, I have uh, the Indonesian translation has uh, significant significant activities in in this in this uh, last year, yeah? April May, and then maybe uh, around December. Uh, we have we have several several significant 
uh, string translation done at, at the time. So let me share uh, with you how, how we do that. First, <clears throat> the, right now we use web page. It's a web page, but that if if you try to translate with it yeah uh, it's uh, for several uh, instances it is it, uh, good it's adequate but if you want to go faster you can try the offline tool like uad or git translator or localize because we can you can do a, a navigation quicker maybe this uh, the problem with bandwidth in indonesia we usually we don't have a uh, big bandwidth so if we uh, click to the next section or something we usually uh, takes time but if we download the transition file and doing doing it offline then everything will will be much smoother the other thing is that if we do uh, translation edit uh, offline, we can use the translation memory that has been uh, filled up with the translation from other project. So sometimes uh, the content, the string is uh, quite uh, similar and uh, the, uh, these programs will will offer uh, partial translation to to the current string we we trying to translate and we we just uh, copy if the strings are identical and and we can edit uh, and type uh, on the a few few word few characters to to correct the the similar translation so that's the the uh, first uh, tips. The how do we reach the transition speed? The second one is that Fedora release three kinds of uh, document every every version every releases. Uh, they are system optimization guide installation guide and release notes so there there are release notes for 34 there are release notes for 33 and so on and usually between between releases the system administration guide and installation guide uh, uh, many many uh, has has many strengths that uh, exact identic between between releases so so you if you know how to do it you can copy between releases even uh the rest is may, maybe uh, uh 80 90 percent is uh, seem, uh identic and and the and the rest may be not uh they, they may be only uh, has only small change so you can still use the previous version of the strings as a starting point and just edit uh, several words in the new release. So if you do the copy between releases, then you can you can uh, complete the new version, the system attribution guide, installation guide, and at least not for the new version uh, very, very quickly. So how do you find uh, which uh, which string that, that that can be can be processed like that? If we if we go to the any modules at the starting page, yeah, please check the this uh, uh, status. Fail check inconsistent. 
if you have many many string with with status like that then you have a uh, uh, what do you call it there you can do many string transition uh, very quickly so if for instance this uh, this module has 149 strings and you see 149 strings fail check inconsistent then you uh, practically you can copy process every strings and within a few seconds you can finish the translation what do i mean let's see the detail here in in this screen you can see that uh, for this module mod, this module is a uh, specific for uh, federal installation guide for version 34 the string is exactly same to the version 29 33 31 but while this uh the string in the previous version has been translated this one is not yet so we can uh, uh, we can copy easily by clicking this uh, button and then uh, in the uh, in the button we, we can uh, there is a button to do the copy but if we do this using the web uh, web it you need to go uh, you need to navigate to every string you have to do so many clicks the faster way to do it is to doing this we back to the uh, main, main main page of the translation we download translation from the for instance, we, we need to, if we want to translate the uh, Fedora 34, while it is not translated yet, but the Fedora 33 is already fully translated, then we go to the Fedora 33, to the files, download translation, and then we come back to the Fedora 34 and upload translation. Then, voila, every string. That is, uh, those are identical between those version will be automatically translated. Please try this. <clears throat> In this, uh, uh, by this video, you can you can finish translation uh, of the various version of federal documentation quickly. So that's that's uh, the the main. The main secret, I, I don't know if it's secret or not. <laughs> the main secret why I can do this uh, quickly. On the other hand, if uh, Indonesian team is uh, can do that quickly, why not copy them? Because actually, we, we are not a team. I, I do transition alone, but uh, fortunately not anymore. Within uh, the the last the last months, we have new translator, and I hope in the future we we will be more productive. Okay, so what else? Actually, I, I I I want to to close my presentation with with uh, several question, so, uh, idea or question. Yeah, that uh, uh, maybe it's only uh, appropriate for the the uh, new teams. I mean that uh, for those language that not not have translation level quite complete, maybe. <clears throat> Uh, this is only an idea. I, I need some feedback. Uh, uh, which which part of uh, uh, distro we need to do 
translated i think we agree that the command line maybe don't, don't need translation uh what what about the uh, graphical user interface do we need to translate menu dialog shortcut and, and, and everything what if we only translate the documentation but not translate the user interface itself it's an idea because uh, <laughs> uh, it, it it can be uh, uh, more useful because sometimes when when we uh, usually when, when we uh, search for help when we search the string based on the translation we uh, maybe we, we cannot get the proper help out there but if we still refer to the 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 uh, original uh, menu original dialog i think the search will be will be more more helpful will, will be will get more result okay but the problem is that that when 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 we start with translating the uh, user guide at our help uh, after we already finished them then what what to do next we, we do trans, uh, translate the ui and the, the the i think the the main problem is how do you how do we call the the language of that translate translation that only translate uh the the help the guide not not the ui <laughs> so, it, it, on, on, I think it, maybe it's a crazy idea, but that, that's the uh, I have been thinking lately. Maybe that uh, we we do this thing wrong because uh, maybe some some of you have read about the Y shark. They, they they have a special notes in in translating by that they they suggested you please do not translate. <laughs> Please do not translate uh, Wireshark menus because <laughs> it's uh, like uh, like shooting yourself on the foot or something. Please please uh, see uh, uh, search the uh, Wireshark translation problem. Okay, <laughs> so that's that. Uh, I close uh, my presentation. I think. Uh, I have to say thank you for Jan and everyone that uh, suggest me to to presentation. And do we have any question? <laughs> do I have any question? Yeah, no. No. Oh. So how how do we pro proceed? <laughs> You should read the log. We ask question. Which one? Sorry. <laughs> chat in chat because in QA part I don't see any question written there. <laughs> okay. Uh... Which fan? Um, do you download all files manually from WebKit and push everything back? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I choose only several files with potentially quicker to to do to to process offline. So if you if you see the <clears throat> if you see the my presentation in which uh, I don't remember which which page 
when you see what what the uh, keyword yeah. what is the keyword yes this one inconsistent fail check inconsistent if you have <clears throat> this this number big compared to to the the total number string then uh, you definitely need to download the, the file from the previous version and upload to the newest version okay there's a uh, question to second can you mark Expecting on something on web plate? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, actually, it, it, uh, I think it's it. in in GNOME. We we have uh, different workflow we, yeah. because we, uh, we we use web, but but not to uh, the the web does not facilitate string by string translation but it only uh, provide module base so uh, every translator will will mark this module or that module that this module is being translated by whom so in in that case uh, we we can we can avoid uh, duplication. Oh, I mean, uh, this is this is about when 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 uh, mixing between between offline and online, right? <laughs> At the time, we don't have that problem because I do transition alone. <laughs> But right now, maybe we have to coordinate. Okay, the other question. What else? Is there any question that I haven't answered yet? Okay, the regional uh, languages. Yeah, uh, there there are hundreds of languages in Indonesia, and and I don't think uh, no no no. Uh, we are fortunate in Indonesia that that most people can speak Indonesian language, although they they also use the regional language. So we we choose to translate the common language indonesian by that uh, we we we, we uh, with with one word we we, we can support uh, most indonesian people because uh, uh, i i have tried to translate uh, not only from english to indonesian but only to but to japanese to sundanese and i got frustrated because uh like for instance Japanese and Sundanese they, they don't have sufficient uh, terms for 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 technical technical terms so, so it I, I got stuck uh, so many times <laughs> thank you I think it's it's uh, my time is up Thank you, everyone. I hope it is useful for, for anyone listening.